welcome back to sunny Brisbane, folks. We have got a big last quarter coming your way. BMUs have a narrow lead of one point. Um, and I'm pretty excited to see what the last quarter has in store for us, Scott. I've got this vision in my head. So see one of the runners just having a word to us. Waldorf and Stadler. Uh, for those people at home, we've got the uh, Tassie runner, old Darren Gard. And uh, he's up and about. We see the kangaroos breaking now. Steve Reeves would have to be pretty happy with how his sides come together. These boys not having played before uh, this, this weekend's match together, um, coming from each state and territory in Australia. The best 26 players on show today here from the National Inclusion Carnival earlier in the year in Blacktown, New South Wales. It was a fantastic event run by the AFL in conjunction with AFL. New South Wales ACT. So we have Damo Clark on leading goal kicker uh, three for the Emus and uh, Alfred and Blash. The Kangaroos with two apiece. So I think they're going to be the ones to watch. Shubalash goes hard and hollows, knocks him down. And I think a move with Worthington going into the centre now. Kangaroos working forward. Pressure from the Emus. Bouncing around, Worthington breaks free, just getting the kick away. Dole all by himself, he's just been having a field day down back there. Leans back on the left, pumps it into the forward 50. Reese Baker couldn't quite reel it in, but he gathers now. Handball off to Harry Hunter, who puts it on the boot. Meeklum couldn't quite reel it in. Reese claiming it might be a game winning move from him to put Meeklum in full forward, but didn't quite pay off there. And Evans with those go-go gadget legs just gets going, kicks it forward, over two, to Pace. The two leads combining there before it's cleared by Pace. And again, Knight Nielsen at half back, as he has done all day. Flush in the middle, all by himself. He gets it over to a, a pure Timmy here. He can just, you know, he knows he can run. Give us a barrel, Pete. Here he goes. He's gonna. Lace out to Alfred. Here we go. There's a the connection again. Lovely lead up there by Alfred, and he'll have a shot about 40 metres out directly in front. Well, we see the skills on show there. We were calling for the barrel, but the short kick inside 50, like a laser to his teammate, who will now line up from about 35 out directly in front of goal. For his third goal, Davy Alfred. Stab at oh, them earlier in the day. Oh, good looking kick. Tried to kick through that one, but it's a, a little score. bit off target. Oh, and scores are level. So Mayo's going to take the kick out of full back here. A little short one. Deep into the pocket. Lawrence backs himself, takes it on, runs past. That's what we like to see. Taking the game on there and clear to the wing. Damo uses that big frame and he's out here. He's got Doki, he pops it out in front hey. on the lead and he swallows that one hole. Over the top, Clark's kept running. Some great play, great push from the big man, Damo Clark. Gathering on the wing, hitting up the leading forward and then following up to get the ball back. And he's sucking him in as well, Damo. Well, this is off season for a lot of our players. <laughs> right at home, folks, right at home, here we go. Clark should have no problems here as he lines up. Oh, where's the wind? And it's hit the post. I've been calling that all day and the wind just stopped. It literally just stopped as he had that shot. Unlucky for the emus there. The minor score. Well, Paulson's got a man on in hollows and he marks it half back. Looking further up the field. Hewitt Timmy's called for it long. Look at the jump. Oh, unfortunate to not take the mark there. Ground ball to be won. Pure Timmy. He gathers, gathers now and goes inside 450. Alford at the back. Couldn't quite reel it in. James McKay juggling to himself. Some strong play from Reese Baker, but that man Mayo again. And Lindsay Chibolet gets in there hard. Puts his head over the ball. Taps it forward. Ashworth snaps it. And who's going to get there? Pace is chasing. Doki as well. Graydon Paulson, who was struggling with that toenail complaint earlier in the game, but he's, he looks to be fine. And Hallows takes the ball on the chest and off he runs, backs himself. 
Sean Dole, as he's been doing all day, from half back. And connecting. Two on one. Mayo working overtime, but Wolford manages to get it. To that man, Craig, who gets it inside 50. Oh, he's caught him high. Norris isn't happy with that one, but I think he said yes, I did get him. Put the hand up. Might have been a. I don't think he wrapped him across the chin, but looks like Travis Baxter's up and looks to be okay. And he kicked that wonder goal down in the pocket in, in the last quarter, so his confidence should be up. And if he kicks this, the uh, Kangaroos will uh, we'll take the lead. So four minutes, 26 now gone in this final term. As Travis Baxter from Northern Territory is lining up for goal. It's picked up again here. Oh, just over the line. Oh, <laughs> well level again, Scotty. Umpire says all clear, one behind. Dylan Evans takes it out to Brad Lawrence, who he turns and goes. Yassa has to spoil from behind there. Harry Hunter comes in to collect. Good, strong tackle there from Hayden Cannon, but it's that man, a pure Timmy, who comes out, and he's got two men on here, but they, well, they run into each other, and he gives the, uh, the Emus player time to come in. Snaps it on the right. Davy Alfred reads it like he's been reading it all day. And he's just outside the goal square and will uh, we'll have a shot. Well, I'm pretty sure it's certain to say they're going to take the lead. It's just going to be by one point or six. Well, he passes oh. off. And Baxter. No one there. And Baxter's just as easy as you like. Collected by our bus driver for the week there behind the goal, Sean. He's been doing a fantastic job of ferrying the boys around. Apparently they've been pumping some serious tunes on the bus. Lots well, of almost a karaoke lounge from uh, the accommodation to, to the ground every every day. But we thank Sean and we thank all the support staff and volunteers who are here supporting our inclusion of Australian players and our exhibition matches here as part of the Guinness Global Games. So Mayo comes off the bench, he comes off, comes off the ground, he's a bit of a calf on his right leg. It's a, it's a big centre clearance for Winscotty. Emu's near the goal. Hacked out of mid-air from Hayden Cannon, but Sean Gold is in half back ball on his own. He's had his own, he's had his own ball all day, Scotty. Might be a Falcon there. Uh, Dylan Pace popping one on the nose. And oh, a, bit, a bit dazed and confused. He tugs on the jumper of the viewer to me and umpire awards him free kick. Just goes to the old check side. The casual no banana part. from the wing. <laughs> Gets it inside 50. It's man on man here. The ball's caught in, will spill out. Yes, it'll come out. They need it here, the emus. They've got to just take it on. Brad, Brad Lawrence goes and he kicks into the centre of the ground. It's a good spot to be if you need it forward quickly. But Sean Dole intercepts. Gets it high and long. Wolford at the back. Oh! And he's taken the strong mark. That is what we call a contested mark, Tim. That is, and he's, um, he's been dynamite up forward, Alfred. Um, could have, what's he, what's he got? He's got two goals. He could have potentially you know, had four or five. Um, he's kicked two, he's stabbed at a couple, he's passed a few off as well. So I've got no idea what he might do here, but it looks like he's lining up for goal. He's played a real team game, so this is almost a seal if this goes through. Now to the left, watch it come back. Oh, I started too far to the left and it's a minor score but it's a handy score, it gives it... We've got to kick two goals now, the Emus, to, to get it. There's only just a shy over two minutes left. So let's see what they go here. So the Kangaroos, six goals, 6.42. The Emus trailing, five goals, 5.35. Lovely hit up. Tim said there's still a couple of minutes left here as a nice left foot kick to the wing and Lindsay Ashworth, Ashworth collects. He wanted to move it on quickly and he does so. But he's hit up Sean Dole. Sean Dole, just filling the hole all day there. And he's had a great game. He's my BOG. Oh, well, who's that? Is that Flash? Well, there's been a couple who have performed. And the Indians want to come back and push forward. And it's left a couple of Kangaroos players free. Travi back to snaps and he hits the post. So for everyone li listening at home, we are uh, back tomorrow for, for a game at, uh, at 2 p.m. Uh, Brisbane time, so make sure you check your clocks and, and tune in. But we're not over yet, we've got a bit over a minute left, and uh, the pure Timmy 
He's, he's calling me. He's pointed to <laughs> the gun. Going long, boys. Is he going the barrel? No, he says yes, I'm going to have a oh, shot, here boys. Here we go. Bit of me time. We like to see this, don't we? Making sure everyone knows he's here as he takes his time. <laughs> Looks like he's lining up for a drop punt. I'd love to see a big barrel. Oh, cheeky. Tried to hit up Harry Hunter, but Reese Baker there at support as well. And the team is probably want to chase a bit harder than that if they want to get back in this game with time running out. Davey Alford on the right peg. Snapped it, comes around. Kangaroos. Can they get one final score on the board? Dylan Evans clears. Yass in pursuit. It looks like Craig will... No, he doesn't really in. Tasmanian teammate Dylan Pace is there to harass. Holding the man, so that's all. 30, 30, 30 seconds left. Dylan Pace with the ball at half back. They're on here to in the, the center. Middle. You take it from here, Timmy, to finish it off. So Brad Lawrence out on the wing. They should have just needed to just pump along. But Brad Lawrence has just got to go. It's not long to go. He's got to have a got to have a shot over the top. He's asking for the one-two. Worthington, right pair oh. comes around. That's the minus score, and that'll do it, folks. We have Kangaroos 6743 to 5636. Um, and what a what an exhibition of, of talent for the uh, the best footballers um, that Australia have got to show. And it, we wanted a free flowing game of football, and I think we definitely got it with uh, both sides pushing forward at a rate of knots and coming off half back at, at a rate of knots as well. And, a couple of players in particular off half back, Sean Dole for the, the Kangaroos and uh, Byron Mayo through that first half for the Emus. Um, we've got a lot of great players playing football in this country and as you said Tim, it was great to showcase some of that here today as part of the AFL exhibition for the, the Inus Global Games here in Brisbane and you mentioned we're back here tomorrow Tim, um, hopefully we get a similar product. I think we will mate, I think they'll, uh, they'll now go in do a bit of recovery um, and come back out uh, swinging again. We've yeah, one last game before we before we head home on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, what what an amazing game! What a what a uh, showcase of talent. Um, so for everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. Um, we will be back here at two o'clock Brisbane time. So get your time zones set. Two o'clock for the second game of Kangaroos first enemy. Thank you again for joining us. Have a great night and we'll, uh, we'll tune back in tomorrow.